Whatever happened to the hole in the ozone layer? In the early 1980s, scientists revealed that the vital layer of gas protecting Earth from UV radiation was thinning dramatically over Antarctica. That you know, took the world by storm and it actually was a conversation changer at that moment. So much so that within a few years, a global agreement had been reached banning the production of ozone-depleting chemicals, known as CFCs, that had been widely used in things such as household sprays and fridges. The Montreal Protocol was the first treaty to achieve ratification by all countries. It was a rescue mission that worked. The hole is getting smaller and smaller and should mostly recover by the middle of this century. But scientists in Australia have discovered something just as remarkable. Not only did the protocol save the ozone layer, it dramatically slowed the rate of global warming. In fact, by as much as 25%. That's because CFCs are potent greenhouse gases. Had they kept being released into the atmosphere, average global temperatures would now be even higher. And by 2050, things would have been a lot worse. If we talk about just Australia, the warming would be 1.5 degrees more than the 2050 projections. In other words, the world would have had no chance of hitting vital targets set by the Paris Agreement on climate change. The impact is even more stark in the Arctic, where temperatures would have climbed by as much as 4 degrees, seriously depleting sea ice at a rate much faster than now. The report's authors say it shows what's possible when the world acts as one. When everybody comes together and we believe in science, we can actually achieve something. They think one reason the response was so decisive in the 1980s was because people could visualise the problem through a single image. Everybody felt that this had an impact on them personally. We're all afraid of radiation and we're all afraid of cancer. They point out the threat posed by climate change is just as real. People are lulled into a false sense of security that the change is slow and that we can deal with the problem down the track. The benefits of the Montreal Protocol extended beyond the health of the planet. Industry was forced to adapt, leading to new innovation. We need to recognise that climate change also poses a great opportunity. It's going to grow a new economy and renewable sector, it's going to grow new technologies and new ways of powering the planet that avoid carbon emissions. The Australian team says Montreal serves as a good reminder that strong global action can have lasting impacts. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.